is going on guys? My name is Rami back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Demon Slayer or Kimitsu no Yaiba. This is episode 5, my own steal. Last episode was hype as hell and I'm glad that I'm back on track with this show. I've been thoroughly enjoying this show and I'm glad that I got introduced to it. Um, and I can actually thank uh, Memory and K basically because this was also on my radar but a lot of people were saying like yeah you should really just check it out. And I watched it and... I wasn't super hyped on on the very first episode, but the more I'm watching it, the more I'm, like, invested in the show. I'm like, ooh, I want to see what's happening next. Ooh, I want to see what's happening next. And I've been enjoying this so far. Uh, we're, it looks like we're going to get a quick little preview of last week's episode, and then we're going to get cut to the final of this, like, the, the end of this final selection. So, guys, without further ado, let us jump in to episode 5 of Demon Slayer, starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. I'm actually going to turn on the volume just a little bit. It's a little out of my end. Using his head. <laughs> I just forgot how just so clean this looks. Oh, you full table. Yeah, alright, so I, I'm trying to figure out how this is going to end. Alright, so with the, the other student that he helped, the one who ran away, I wonder if he's going to get reprimanded. I wonder if he's going to get reprimanded. But, so this is obviously going to have him, have him pass. I would be very surprised if they don't pass him because of this for some odd reason. Um, oh, I just realized I have the wrong... I have my shield hero up right there. Oh, that's not it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not it. Is it this one? Nope, that's not it. Give me it. There we go. Okay. Put away that. Alright. Sorry. I just realized I had my, um... I had my, uh... <laughs> Shield hero one. <laughs> that, that's that's misleading. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so I have a feeling... Alright, so I think the guy, that one guy who ran away is going to get reprimanded, but... Um, he, oh, I can't remember his name because it's weird. Um, the mentor, he's going to be... Um, he's going to be very happy with everything. Grateful. But we also need to see the guy in the yellow, him. The guy in the yellow was shown in in the final selection. Not the guy with the boar mask, I don't think. Or the pig mask. I think it looks like a boar mask, though. But we'll see what happens. My Own Steel, episode 5. Uh, rem rem reminiscent of his family. No, no, that's something different. Oh, it's the mentor. Damn. That's him? Well, huh, if he was able to survive that, then... I 
I'm so the yeah, this demon has lived for a long time. He even survived him. He's got like blood covering the scar. The one thing I will definitely give props to this is that it does actually make you feel a little bit for the characters. Even the side characters. Like, they flesh out the villains. They, they flesh out side villains, which is something that is very... Not that it's not that common at all, and I, I and I'm thoroughly enjoying that this aspect that of the fact that it's not that they're not just sidelining villains, they're actually giving them some depth and some character development and some just backstory, which is something I I'm thoroughly in, I love that I love that. It actually makes you slightly sympathize. Oh, those all the kids that. All the kids it took. I do hope these guys play more, a bigger part. Like they don't just completely disappear disappear from this. But if they don't, it makes sense though. He's, that's right, he's still got a fight. He just took on one big ass boss. It's basically gonna trap them to ask them, see if any of them have. Sorry, I'm like pausing a lot because I'm like, like I'm not finishing my sentences because I'm like constantly like paying attention. And it's one of those like I don't want to continue talking because I feel like I'm gonna be not paying attention to the story, and I feel like that would be a damn shame. But like, I, like I was saying, I feel like he's trying to figure out, see if there's any of them that has like some semblance of humanity left in them. But outside of the one he killed, the arm guy, none of them really have that kind of mindset, I guess, in a way. It's a beautiful scene, by the way. Be completely surrounded by lilac flowers. If there was only four left... I mean, he was a coward. <laughs> hey, he ran away from safety.
And the guy with a wild look on his face. Uh, the wild look on his face. Those fucking eyes are still creepy. So because he killed a big ass beast, he might jump? No. Or. Or. I know. I know. <laughs> but every time I see it, I just say or. I wonder if he's gonna get like some special treatment simply because. <laughs> oh I wonder if this that's going to cause some reprimands because he touched her. Hey, he did warn you. I wonder if there's certain ones that are mixed in that are like... I still find it funny that he has this fucking sparrow. I wonder if some of those ores are like actually better than the others. Use your, like, sense. That string thing, maybe. Five. As many as f I thought there was only four. Hmm. Still love those transitions, by the way. I bet you're exhausted, dude. Eh, don't beat yourself up about it, dude. I mean, hell, Nezuko can't really talk either, so... I mean, I highly doubt that they're gonna play... They're gonna bend the rules for him and actually give him give him a chance to, to actually turn her back 
The only thing I can think that would... I mean, they could totally do it. But it would feel like a little bit too cliche. I feel... I, I would like it more if, like, later on down the road, the, um, Netsuko, she basically just becomes more human-like, but she's still a demon, if you know what I mean. Like, she's able to talk normally, all that jazz. Hi, ne Nezuko! You're awake! Oh. <laughs> oh, my heart. That's great. Oh. I'm hoping that's a natural hug and she's not just hungry. <laughs> Even he is surprised. Oh, that's so, so cute. That's so sweet. And he is crying. Oh. What a feel-good scene. That's such a feel-good scene. Oh, that was nice. Uh, that was nice. I'm proud of you. Back to fall asleep. <laughs> mm. That interesting. So that's why she was sleeping the entire time, so she wasn't. That's an interesting concept. Not gonna lie. Yeah, but dude, you need to get some rest to, like, completely just take, like, a couple days sleep. Or two weeks. <laughs> uh, is this gonna be the guy carrying, uh, um, it's like a transporting so the swords? Not the guy with the mask? So he also forged it, too. He's not just delivering it. <laughs> He's here just to deliver. He's here just to deliver, and that's nothing else. So his sword's gonna be red, I'm guessing? <laughs> What's up with that mask? That mask is slightly unsettling. Ah.
That's actually kind of cool. Very interesting hilt. Almost an onyx looking color. I think that is onyx. Onyx black. <laughs> I thought it was going to be red too, so... You went from... It's a bit hard to tell with that mask. Oh, and that's his, that's his crow. <laughs> I'm guessing that's his crow. It can talk. And immediately after being assigned, after he gets a sword, he gets his first assignment. Damn. I wonder if he's gonna get also get a different mask, like besides the one he had during the uh final selection. He's ready. That was a good episode. I still like the first, the fourth one more. I think I still like the fourth episode the most. The fourth episode by far was probably my favorite. It was probably my favorite. Sorry, I threw my sock over there. I was like, ha I took off one shoe while I was watching this. Give me a second. But yeah, like, fourth episode is by far my favorite episode. Fifth episode was great. It had, the, the one thing that definitely made this episode was that scene. Like by far, I just realized I'm getting so many holes in my shoes, or socks because of this shoe. Guess that means I need a new, I need new shoes soon. Anyway, I dig I, I'm, I'm digress. But yeah, this show, it's gonna be 26 episodes, I believe. I think that's when it's, uh, how much has been slated. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been liking this show a lot, like a lot, a lot. I'm still wondering when we're going to get this boar guy. The spore guy seems really interesting. Like, he sounds like a loudmouth kind of thing. I wonder. And I wonder if that other guy, the guy with that scar, the one who was... Okay, hold on. <laughs> I don't think you should be fighting with your crow. Like, I'm also curious about the girl with the butterfly, who was also during the final section, but the the guy, I, like, the guy I was talking about, the guy with that mask, uh, the cut over his, like, right eye right here, um, I feel like he might be a villain. I've, I just, he just gives that vibe, and I'm wondering if that's actually gonna be the case. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go wrap this up, and then I'm gonna go watch... Thank you, or we never learn uh, right after this. So look forward to that. I'm going to go upload this first, and then I'm going to go uh, start that up. So look forward to that in a little bit. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.